Listen and imagine the story. King Saul, scene one, from Judges to Kings. The people of Israel lived in 12 tribes, scattered throughout the promised land of Canaan. And God rose up judges to rule and protect them from their enemies. Samuel was the last judge of Israel. From the time Samuel was a child, he sensed God speaking directly to him. Samuel challenged the Israelites. If you are serious about following God's ways, get rid of your idols. Follow God with your whole heart. Then God will rescue us from our enemies. For a season, the Israelites listened to Samuel and lived in God's ways and were freed from enemy control. When Samuel grew older, he appointed his sons to be the judges over Israel, but they were dishonest and took bribes. The people of Israel insisted to Samuel, Your sons are corrupt. Give us a king to lead us like other nations have. So God gave Samuel the words to say to the Israelites. God will allow you to have your king, Samuel said, but this means you're rejecting God as king. So be warned, human kings will control you and take everything for themselves. The pe people wouldn't listen and demanded, we must have a king just like the other nations, a king that will rule us and fight for us. So God showed Samuel who should be their king. It was Saul, a very tall and handsome man from a wealthy family. Samuel took a small bottle of oil and poured it over Saul's head. This was called anointing, a custom to show that God had chosen Saul as king. God has made you ruler over all of Israel, Samuel said to Saul. God will help you to save them from their enemies who keep attacking from every side. Then Samuel presented the new king to the people and they all shouted, Long live the king! Scene 2 the foolishness of King Saul. At first, Saul was a powerful king who followed God's, God's ways. Battle after battle, he led Israel in victory over their enemies. But Saul was impatient and wanted to lead his own way. He ignored the instructions God gave to him for battle and for preparing offerings. Samuel scolded him. Why didn't you listen to God? You've been so foolish. Soon your kingdom will end and you'll be replaced with someone who follows after God's own heart. God regretted making Saul king. So God said to Saul, Samuel, Go in secret to visit a man named Jesse. His son will be the new king. Jesse was a descendant of Ruth and Boaz. When Samuel arrived, he discovered that Jesse had seven sons. When Jesse introduced his oldest son to Samuel, Samuel thought, this must be the new king. But then Samuel heard God say, this isn't the new king. Don't just look at height and strength. People judge by outward appearance, but I look at the heart. One by one, Jesse introduced Samuel to his sons. But each time, God told Samuel to move on to the next one. Finally, Samuel said to Jesse, are these all of your sons? And Jesse replied, Well, there is still the youngest, but he's just a boy. He's in the field tending the sheep. Bring him here, Samuel said. David was a healthy and handsome young man. When Samuel saw him, he heard God say, He is the one. So Samuel anointed David's head with oil, and God's spirit gave power and direction to David from that day on. Scene three, Saul's madness. Saul knew his time as king would soon end and he grew very depressed and anxious. He had musicians play for him in hopes it would ease his troubled mind. One of these musicians was none other than David. He came to the palace every day to play his stringed instrument for the king. David's music helped Saul to feel better. Soon the king grew to love David and made him one of his most trusted servants. David also became close friends with Saul's son, Jonathan. In fact, David and Jonathan made a covenant to watch out for each other. Before long, King Saul appointed David to command his armies. David had great success in battle and became so popular that the Israelites sang songs about his greatness. This made Saul extremely angry and jealous. 
Why are they giving David all the credit? Next, they'll make him king, he said. The next time David was playing music for him, King Saul became filled with madness. He picked up a spear and hurled it at David. David quickly dodged the spear and ran away. When Saul came to his senses, he realized that God was protecting David. Soon, Saul's daughter, Michael, fell in love with David. Saul pretended to be happy about this and gave his daughter to David to be married. But inside, Saul was filled with fear and hatred. King Saul publicly praised David for being a courageous warrior, but secretly, he hoped David would be killed in battle. But David became more and more popular with the Israelites, and King Saul grew more and more jealous and crazy.